You're disrupting traffic, idiots. You can't do that. That's against the law. My goodness, we got to talk about this guy that has gone viral. He represents many Americans in this country. We have, uh, we are just up to here. We, we've had enough with the wokeism. Once again, the pro-Palestine wokesters have struck again. Now we have seen the coordinated attacks of shutting down bridges. of blocking parades. To be honest with you, they're the same strategical tactics that we seen during the Summer of Love 2020, Black Lives Matter and Antifa protests. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Where they were purposely shutting down roads, causing massive traffic, massive confusion. So there is a protest on the highway, and that's why we're now stuck in traffic. It is a playbook, play-by-play -play playbook out of the Marxist playbook, creating mass confusion, mass havoc um, that causes distraction so that we can't keep our eye on the ball. I don't care what is going on over there in Israel, in Palestine. I am worried about America. And this guy, this viral video I'm about to show you, represents so, how so many Americans feel. This guy was not having it. He had his daughter in the car. He wasn't having it today. What you blocking bridges. He got out of the car. He began to the point where he had to start pushing people to get them out of the way. You're disrupting traffic, idiots. You can't do that. That's against the law. Get away from my car, bro. Get away from my car. Get away from my car. I have a daughter in Brooklyn. Get the fuck out of the way. And this is how a lot of Americans feel. We are, we've had it up to here. We're tired of the wokeism. We're tired of these uh, d domestic terrorist tactics of blocking roads, shutting down parades, so on and so forth. We're sick of it. So I love the fact that the guy stood up and told him to get out the way. And I believe that there is pl places like where I live now in the state of Florida, they have laws against this, where if a person feels threatened or they're blocking the road, they can pretty much run them over. And I hope that other states follow suit. Let me know if it's in your state, they have the similar law. But people are sick of this wokeism. We're sick of it. I mean, imagine the amount of chaos that this is causing. New York is already a congested area. And now they strategically have placed themselves to block roads. People are gonna lose their mind. People are gonna start flipping out. Free 
as they should. And this is how a lot of Americans feel when it comes to this wokeism. People are walking on eggshells. White folks don't know what to say. You can't even comment on somebody's hair without them getting upset. You, you, can't, you can't fire somebody without them hollering, oh, I, it's uh, pulling out the race car. You can't even drive simply to go to work without some pro-Palestine wokesters, liberals, or whoever blocking roads, causing chaos. Shut it down! And the reason why it's like this is because we have failed as a country in implementing law and order. We need to bring out stiffer, stricter, harsher penalties. We need to make prison unbearable to the point where the living conditions are inhumane. I don't care what it is. We got to bring back some type of deterrent to stop this stuff. We have to implement law and order back into this country. If not, we have emboldened these people of thinking that this is okay, which is nothing. If we look at the strategically how they plotted it, it's a domestic terrorist attack. These people are the insurrectionists. These people are the domestic terrorists. But yet we have an entire political party that says nothing, that doesn't condemn them whatsoever, that doesn't even try to implement some type of law and order. Instead, they allow these people to inflict havoc on innocent people that are literally just trying to get back to work. I don't, man, I'm not going to be the dead horse. Y'all know where I'm coming from. We're sick of this shit. Let me know what your thoughts are on this whole thing. Uh, are you a part of the wokesters? Do you think that, yeah, I mean, yeah, of course, it's their free will to protest how they want. But at to what extent, until it starts getting in the way of just normal average people that just want to go about their business? I don't know what they think that this is going to help. This is actually irritating more people. So I don't want to, I want to know your thoughts, man. I ain't going to be no dead horse. If you watched it this far, let me know what your thoughts are. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you get notified every time I put out some more mean tweet commentary. And don't forget to hit me up on Instagram. It is official Craig Long 45. For those that's been supporting and elevating my voice up until now, thank you. My page is growing. I really appreciate every single person that watches it to this point, likes it, comments, shares it. Thank you. With that being said, it's your boy, Craig Long, 45. You can't make this shit up. I'm out. Peace. Yeah, wait.